Hi betting experts on Thursday the 23rd of July. First of all, look back at our two bets at Bath on Wednesday and we move on to Pontefract on Thursday. One of the best run tracks in the country this, the ground on the far side of good, the weather forecast set fair, low numbers required, all races at Pontefract, especially on fast ground, positive rides, a big advantage and it's very hard to make up ground from off the pace we start off with our value angle selection in the 220 this is a new sporting life app handicap over five furlongs a class five for three-year-olds and upwards 14 runners just under three and a half grand on offer to the winner it's a competitive race i don't think it'll be possible for anything drawn probably seven and above to get involved and the one i prefer is jed O'Keefe's philly only alone now the positives first of all a brilliant draw in stall two for an attacking ride from graham lee with a sleeper in one who i don't think will be getting involved after five months off young tiger that's an all-weather horse who I doubt will be quick enough. So a real chance for Graham Lee to seize the rail on this unexposed filly. She's run four times, twice in 2019 and clearly in need of the run, but she was an absolute revelation on the 11th of June. Springing a 25 to 1 surprise in style at Beverly under Moore Rennan, sprinting three and a half lengths clear as Shark. Now it's an ordinary novice race, nothing to shout about, but she really handled the quickest ground well there, showing a smart turn of foot when asked, and I was quite taken with her. I thought she's one to look out for into handicaps. She made a pleasing start off a mark of 69 when fifth at Thirsk upped in trip to six furlongs. I suspect the rain that turned the ground good to soft that day was against her and she just got tired in the final 100 yards having shown plenty of natural pace disputing a strong gallop the winner that day came from well behind so I thought it was a creditable run and she should take an awful lot of catching if she can break cleanly get the far rail she'll take a lot of dislodging on the lead the danger perhaps well it's a competitive race Pavers Pride is drawn five comes here under a penalty for a win 10 days ago the form of that race hasn't really worked out and I think they find it a lot harder to dominate here so around about eight to one ten to one on the exchange I think that's a very fair price for a horse with a brilliant draw for our nap of the day we go to the 250 this is the Volkswagen van center handicap a limited contest for a class three for three-year-olds and upwards over five furlongs um, six thousand seven hundred and twenty eight pounds on offer eight runners it's quite competitive one or two of them do look in the grip of the handicapper notably the 10 year old watchable up the top who's got a terrible draw in seven and peggy sue in six again um hard to fancy um off a stiff looking mark now after winning one run back the one i prefer is tim easterby's seven-year-old bossy pop now the yard is in good form they've had six winners in the last fortnight they're all going well the ones that are fancied at least and this one showed good form on the 20th of june at ripon and a tenacious attitude making most of the running and rallying again when headed to deny able handy that was over six furlongs on slightly easy ground, but goes particularly well on fast ground. Should get a positive ride, and their excuses for a lesser effort at Catterick last time out um, under David Allen, drawn in the car park there and never really getting warm. Um, he's drawn in stall two here. The blinkers are on. A positive ride against the fence is on the cards, and he will take an awful lot of passing if able to dominate. Best of luck on Thursday, betting experts.